seen my previous videos my love for unique items I had since I was very very young no wonder I later on started doing my own clothes and beautifying shoes bags making even jewelry with semi-precious beads you might have seen in other videos on this occasion I decided to modify this pair of beautiful orangey velvet fabric uh, sandals and I decided to use as ever the scissors and the threads you see here the haberdashery hoops together with velvet fabric I'm going to use although the back of the velvet fabric and lots of sequins as you can see here I'm using beads sequins flat beads and these flowers which are made of resin of plastic and um, metal the reason you saw two pairs of sandals at the beginning of this video is because i modified two pairs but because of the length of the video i decided to separate these two designs what i'm using for these uh, uh, orangey sandals is also beads which i mentioned to you earlier on and it's very important to ensure the inner diameter where you are going to put the thread through is the right size because certain sellers they say yeah is two millimeters inner diameter yet is only one millimeter so it's very difficult to pass through there the uh, needle with the thread I prefer to trust geometry so that is why I have drawn using a marker these flowers so creating 10 flowers and I even marked the center of the flower this is where all my sequins and flowers are going to be positioned so starting the very first flower I'm going to use this mermaid seashell and on top i'm going to put a resin flower with that pearl the process is very simple and if you have noticed a similar video i have done in the past is very straightforward i am going so slowly here because somebody complained i was going too fast and i was making them dizzy <laughs> So as you can see, it's very, very simple. I think it's very important to use very strong thread. And I use my trusted polyester thread because it does not break. I can't break it with teeth or fingers the way you can do with the cotton thread. This is so much stronger. And I have it for a very long time. I also use this back side of the velvet fabric because it does not fringe. So this is what you want, something that does not fringe. And also consider using a glue. In the end, I have used two types of glue. I used silicone gun glue and E6000 glue. These are two of the best glues on the market and I do not trust only one type of glue you have to adapt that is why I used two types of glue With the shape of the flower i have put on top this green resin flower and in the middle i'm going to use this pearl which is around six millimeters in diameter with an inner diameter of more than two millimeters and on top of it i'm going to secure it using this very small round bead which is around probably uh, three millimeters or four millimeters with uh, again an inner diameter of uh, at least two millimeters so I think it looks pretty cute I'm going to make two of such flowers 
one for each sandal. flower I used those resin leaves on top I used a plastic flower and now I'm going to use these glass beads which are probably six millimeters long and inside the inner diameter was supposed to be two millimeters but the seller probably lied that is why I broke some of these glass beads so this is very important to have the right inner diameter I secured it on top with this round bit and then I had to pass again the needle and the thread through that very delicate glass bead and here it is I'm going to make three more so in together we have got four like that and all together as you can see here I already made ten flowers that are more or less similar and I'm going to put five on each sandal The back of each flower is going to be secured with felt fabric which I'm going to glue it using silicone gun glue and then I'm going to glue them to the sandals using the silicone gun glue again.
this is so the I marked location where each flower was glued using the silicone gun glue and I have attached these beautiful flat beads using the E6000 glue because it's more delicate although it does not dry straight away it takes maybe 5-10 minutes to dry on the fabric and I think both sandals look very, very beautiful. I really like this design. And straight away I started working on the next brown sandals you saw at the beginning of the uh, video. So check the next project. How beautiful my new brown sandals look. I hope as ever this influenced you too. Thank you for watching and have a very nice day.